While the Supreme Court rendered its detailed judgment by majority, two judges, Jackson Ojuang and Joaquin Dungu, were however of a different opinion. Justice Jackson Ojuang, in over three hours' judgment, demonstrated before the court that IBC, through its chair Wafula Chibukati, indeed conducted the 2017 presidential election in accordance with the Constitution and the law. In view of the relative strength of the evidence emanating from the two sides, the only objective conclusion would have, would have been that within the measure of the possible, the conduct of the election by the first respondent was entirely credible. Ojuang, in his dissenting opinion, said Raila Odinga failed to present material evidence to the standard required to disturb the results returned to the National Tallying Center by the presiding officers in Form 34A. On basic elements of trial, the essence of burden of proof was undischarged and it was in effect a reversal of the conventional process of judicial inquiry and determination making a finding in favor of the petitioners while acknowledging that limited irregularities of vote addition and transmission process were experienced in the elections justice ojuang said ibc fully demonstrated that its transmissions were functional and operate and accurate at all times. On these principles, on these premises, I hold that the majority decision fails to resonate with the Constitution and the law and with all relevant guiding principles. I would dismiss the petition with costs. Justice Njoki Ndungu, while dissenting, found no reason to nullify the 2017 presidential results, arguing the decision by the majority was based on narrow interpretation of the law. In my opinion and with respect this is a narrow restrictive interpretation of the law i find that the majority in doing so limited itself to operational and aspirational constitutional principles but secondly they failed or rather they used a restrictive test in assessing whether a claim that the right to vote had been violated in any way had actually even been made. Justice Njoki argued that majority judges in their decision ignored the proper way of re-verification through reopening and counting of ballot papers which will have decided who won the 2017 presidential election. The right to vote in free and fair elections is violated when a court without comprehensive understanding and analysis of the evidence displaces the electorate by halting an election and deciding the outcome itself. An election, unless clearly proven to be conducted in gross violation of the Constitution and the law, affecting the ultimate outcome must never be taken away from the voters. Njoki further argued that failure by political parties to sign forms that for a should not be the grounds to nullify any presidential election. Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel One, News Hour.